Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mahipal Singh Chauhan and I am currently pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from NIT Kurukshetra. So in previous video, uh, I walked you through the installation of uh, Redis and uh, configured the same. So in this video, uh, I am going to show you how you can set up uh, new instances of Redis on custom port and how to set them in like uh, cluster mo cluster mode how to start them uh, start the instances in cluster mode so first of all we are going to create a new folder and uh, just name this folder to anything which you like I am just gonna name it clustering open that folder and create a new file over here which will be named as uh, radis and change the extension to conf which is dot c o n f just do that and click on yes open the file and now we're gonna write in some uh, some lines so just uh, write a port and uh, 7000 over here so this is going to tell the redis instance that we are we want the instance to run on port number 7000 uh, the next one is cluster enabled yes so basically this is telling our redis server instance that uh, it is going to be set up for a cluster configuration right so after this type in cluster con config file and nodes dot on. so this is basically is going to be a standard config file for for our clustering and nothing else uh, the next one is a cluster node uh, timeout timeout uh, and 5000 so what this basically means is that uh, it is 5000 millisecond until that this node will be considered a fail so what it means is that if this node cannot be reached in 5000 milliseconds uh, then then it will basically trigger a failover so uh, this is what this line means and we're gonna set the append only append on to yes so <coughs> these are the configuration that we need to set uh, control s this save this and close it now uh, basically what you have to do is create we, we are going to create eight different instances and cluster them together so for that we need to create eight different directories in this so create a new folder name it uh, 7000 and just like that create 8 folders from 7000 or all the way up to 7007 So now that we have created uh, 8 folders from 7000 to 7007 we need to copy 
uh, this redis.com file in each of these seven folders so just paste Now that we have copied this uh, radius on com files to each of these folders uh, <clears throat> so now the now each of these instance will have their own uh, radius dot dot com file uh, so go into each of these folders one by one and in the first one it is already set to 7000 so you don't need to change it but in subsequent folders uh, you need to change the port number for which uh, like to the directory number that we have set so 7001 control save it do this for every folder 7002 So now that we have done it, uh, just uh, open command prompt in this particular directory and uh, type in redis server and the file uh, the file name so like the configuration file name so it is redis dot c o n f so you see here. Uh, we have created a redis instance that is running in cluster mode on port number 7000 right so we have to do this same thing for each and every uh, each and every direct each, uh, each and every instance so like uh, for uh, right now I did for the 7000 right now I did for the 7000 uh, go into 7001 type in cmd over here and do the same thing which was a uh, redis server uh, redis dot conf, conf and you see here running in cluster mode port number 7001 so start all of these uh, instances one by one and uh, basically create uh, different instances uh, that are running in cluster mode so that we can cluster them all together I'm gonna just copy this command
so now we have uh, uh, eight in eight instances of Redis running on our machine uh, that are uh, started as uh, started in cluster mode. They are running in cluster mode, and they all have different port numbers that, that they are running on to. So that's all for today. In the next video, I'm going to cluster all of these. Uh, instances that are running all of these eight different instances that are running uh, and like cluster them all together and uh, and we'll perf perform sharding in the same video so yeah that's it for today's video for this video uh, thank you for tuning in